But I'm really excited about this exhibition because I, I, I wanted to paint about my experience about Australia, growing up at Palm Beach, traveling to Uluru, the South Coast. Um, and I think that Australia is very, very special in the colors that we have here. The pinks are amazing, the sunset, the sunrises. Um, I spent a lot of time down at Tamarama Beach, um, walking along there, the amazing clouds and the colors. I mean, it's quite unique. And so that's very special and really exciting. I grew up at Palm Beach and um, so I was very influenced by the beaches, the sand um, and the colours. And the colours I think of, of Sydney beaches or certainly all across Australia is very different to anywhere else in the world. Um, I used to live in Morocco and the colours there are very, very different, quite intense. Whereas I think that uh, the colours here have a subtlety, like the, the pinks or the sunsets are really beautiful. So I've tried to capture that. So I've done a cross section of um, styles and subjects. So I did uh, some works on Uluru and Ayers Rock, um, like some of the sunsets. Um, I traveled to uh, Uluru about three or four years ago, so I got to climb the rock. Um, so that influences me a lot. Um, also down the south coast, um, Molly Mook, my mum has a place down there, so I spent a lot of time there. And just uh, painting about the ocean, about the sand, rocks, um, moss, that kind of thing. I think it was just timing. I think that I'd been fortunate to travel around the world. I've lived in Morocco, I've lived in America, and then coming back to Sydney, and I've been here nearly two years, I really just thought it was the time to do it. I, I've been really fortunate to live elsewhere. And just reflecting on, on how wonderful it is in this country. And again, all across Central Australia, I've traveled down south, across to uh, Perth. Um, and it's just the timing. I think it's perfect timing. And I'm really excited. I think that in the next couple of years, I'll explore more of Australia, go spend more time in Alice Springs, in the outback, um, and just really explore the colors because they're quite special. Uh, there's probably about 20 works, 25 works in the exhibition mm -hmm. and um, varying sizes. Some, probably the largest will be about 150 centimetres by 150 centimetres. Mm -hmm. Some are framed. Uh, for the first time in I think about 10 years I'm working on works on paper. Mm -hmm. So it will be oil on paper which is really uh, exciting and it's, it's quite challenging because normally I work on canvas mm -hmm. and to use these products and oil on, onto paper is quite difficult. So that's been really good. That's been, I'm very excited about that. And uh, so in a couple of smaller works, maybe four or five little small works, um, maybe like uh, 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. But yeah, the larger works, I would say that the biggest would be about 150 centimeters by 150. Yeah, I think that sometimes I'll start from scratch. If I'm not happy with something, I mean, it doesn't happen so much now. I think because I do take time in between each layering that I can see how it sits. So I might do two layers, see how it sits. If I'm not happy with it, I can scrape it off and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll go over that with another color or another texture because it's all different um, within some of the products. Some are quite uh, thick, so it's like a resin product. So I'll mix a bit more of the resin with the oil paint to create like a, a little bit uh, thicker. And so I can kind of manipulate a painting to a degree. So even though that I might think, oh, one day the painting's ruined, um, the next day I can fix it. I think so, yeah, sometimes I have to wait uh, a day. Uh, I might do two or three layers and then I'll need to wait a day for that to dry. Then I'll continue on with another layer. And the layering could be not just oil paint, it's oil paint and a medium product and uh, then I'll do another layering on that. Because I like to create depth and uh, this is a good way of doing it. I would say, I mean, uh, certainly some of this work is, is, I would say, I'm very, very happy with it. I've really captured a moment and that's what I'm excited about, that I think as I'm getting older and as I'm painting more, I, I feel I'm evolving as a person and certainly as an artist. I think that the technique, I'm learning so much more and also how to capture a moment. I think that 
sometimes when I've seen a sunset or I've seen a cloud with a particular color across it and then I photographed it or just kept it in my mind and then I put it onto canvas and then seen it framed or stretched or whatever period of time after that and to be able to capture that moment that to me is really exciting and I really believe that this work I've captured a lot of those moments so this particular the, the one of the paintings called God's Marbles and there's a there's a pink in it that is just so beautiful that I believe that I captured that color so I not to, I mean I've done work before in the past I mean the last couple of exhibitions were based on Morocco and I, I think I've captured that and I really enjoyed capturing the culture and colors and this is a continuation of that and I think that I'm very excited yes this is some of my best work I think that I'm still growing and learning but yeah very exciting to capture those moments I think that sometimes the work just blends to be um, not cut off but framed using a pun um, and it just presents in a better way or it feels right to me sometimes I think it's great just to stretch the work and just have the raw painting or again this time this is the first time I've done works on paper and that'll be behind glass so I kind of play with things a lot I kind of I look at the particular work what if I think that it might suit a frame or just being um, stretched so I like to have a varying style I've just, uh, I've just moved to my new studio up the central coast and it's in a little uh, area called Booker Bay um, about uh, an hour and a half out of Sydney and I actually paint outside which is really nice and so it is around, well, I've got massive pine trees around me and I paint on this cement surface outside and I've got the little studio connected to that as well um, but yeah it's very tranquil, it's very relaxing, I can walk down across to uh, Booker Bay Beach in the Bay Area, so that's really nice. I'm currently working on um, yeah, creating more works for Reflections of Australia and China and, uh, and some of the works that will be in this exhibition in Dank Street Gallery, um, some of those works will go to China. So there will probably be six or seven works will go uh, across there for that exhibition. I was approached to take my uh, exhibition in a, into a group show, um, so it's going to be about 20 other artists mm -hmm. and we're all putting five or six works in this exhibition and it's called Reflections of Australia and again it'll be the same, the same palette for me, all the, the, the subtle hues of, of blues and um, browns. Um,